Tonight we've got a new segment for you, Eight Steps to Millions. We spent a lot of time on the show telling you how folks get their big ideas. Right now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take you step by step through the building of a $13 million a year company with two guys who went to Brazil on a surfing trip and discovered a very unique berry. We have eight steps to making millions for you now. Ryan and Jeremy Black are founders of Sambazon. Okay, basically, let's start. This is a product, so I understand it, is acai is the main ingredient in it, and it's kind of an uh, antioxidant product. It's hot. My man Bob Pittman is behind you guys, so you're off on the right track. Let's start step by step. How did you guys, number one, come up with the idea? How did you find the idea? Step one. Step one was I went down to, the, to Brazil on the Millennium for a, a surfing trip to get in a, a little bit of the local culture, and the locals there introduced us to this fruit called acai. Um, it was kind of a smoothie in a bowl, um, and it just made us feel really good, and it was something that we said to ourselves, well, the, you know, the locals here in Brazil are eating this in the beach culture. We could bring this back to, the, to California, okay. to our beach culture. You see the locals, number one. But that's, I don't want to say it's the easy part. It's like, the, how do you then, number one, step two, deal with the foreign entities to figure out how you can even get this stuff, make this stuff? Step two, how do you deal with this foreign entity? Uh, you just go down there. We talk to the people in the Amazon, and... Uh, found a producer that could provide it for us and according to U.S. Uh, DA guidelines. How'd you find the producer? Um, he went down. Yeah, you know, I, I came back Portuguese. from Brazil and, you know, made some phone calls around the, the, the fruit market there in California. Nobody ever heard of it, right? Nobody, nobody was into it. Um, so started doing some research. You know, most of it was only in Portuguese. I had a Brazilian girlfriend. You know, I was, you know, talking to her day and night, trying to help me translate stuff into Portuguese to learn more about this acai fruit. You know, what we learned was that it had just become popular in Brazil in the last 10 years. Um, and so I said, okay, we're going to make a trip to the Amazon and, and go f find out more. So uh, that summer got on a plane with, with my friend who I had originally been in Brazil with and met some producers and said, would you guys be interested in exporting this? And they said, absolutely. Number three, you got to start making this stuff down there. How'd you get the financing? Well, originally, um, we just went with some friends and family who believed in our idea. Um, some local guys in the community that we knew and you know maxed out our credit cards and went down there and said hey let's you know let's import some of this stuff the actual maxing the credit cards financing oh, yeah. strategy okay let's step four how did you figure out how to start manufacturing stuff down there well it, it, acai is something that you know 10 years ago and you meet brazilians around in the united states who have been here for 20 years they never even heard of it it was just something that kind of came out of the amazon rainforest because of some professional athletes in the 90s and so it was very popular in Brazil. It's like, uh, you know, Howard Schultz at Starbucks saying he went to Italy and realized we didn't have good coffee in the right. United States. It wasn't here. So uh, it, it's a big market in Brazil. There's, there's, it's so it was already there being manufactured. You didn't have exactly. to okay. exactly. Next step, how'd you import it? How'd you get the stuff in the country? How'd you know how to do that? Frozen containers. I mean, we just talked to the fruit brokers, like, this is what you do. So we brought it in and uh, stored it in frozen uh, warehouses and uh, started shipping it out frozen to juice bars. Okay, step six, how'd you make your first sale? First sale, how'd you do it? Door to door, man. Juice bars. You just we went to them. We said we got this amazing stuff. They said, yeah, but nobody knows about it. So we said, well, we'll come in every Saturday and we'll give it away to your customers and watch what happens. And that's basically what we did. And we replicated that hundreds of times up and down the coast of California, Hawaii, Florida. We say, man, just knock on the doors, man. Yeah. yeah. Roll okay. Up sleeves. Next step. How do you market on a broader scale? How'd you do that? Uh, word of mouth mostly. Um, samplings is the way to go with something like this because it tastes so good. People taste it and like, wow, this is amazing. They want to learn more about it. We went and did a lot of music festivals where you got tons of people that are coming and they're like, wow, this, this stuff tastes amazing. Where do I get it? You start sending them back. You use your internet website to uh, drive them to retailers that have it. Okay, and finally, the big expansion going from, let's say, 3 to 13 million. What were the keys to really expanding? Well, really understanding what the consumer was looking for. Um, we knew from day one it, when this product was in a bowl with granola and bananas on it that it was you know, destined for success. Um, taking that and trying to teach America how to make uh, smoothies and things like that that they weren't really used to doing in the morning and things like that um, was a process. And so us taking that raw ingredient and then putting a lot of R&D and innovation into product development and things like that, getting it into the products that people can open up in a bottle and drink. Let me do a little sampling before we go. A little shake. We always like to do that in Big Idea. See what the host, as long as the host doesn't drop dead. That's good. Yeah. That's really good, guys. Good stuff. I like the packaging Thank also. Right on. Say hello to my man Bob Pittman. All right. Founders, Samazon, the Black Brothers, or as we like to say in the smoothie business, the Brothers Black. More Big Idea straight ahead.